Hey guys, this is Tornar, and today we're going to be going through my 2021 predictions for Marvel Strike Force in regards to what characters we're going to be getting and stuff like that. Now, I know it is a little bit early, but based on the fact that we already know the next patch is the one for November and the December one, we've got the rumors for that as well. I'm wanting to kind of get a kickstart on next year. I want to make sure that I kind of get these predictions in. I want to kind of just kind of guess mostly, but some of it is based on some different stuff. It's mostly predictions. Some of it's based on some rough rumors or things that we've heard about in past surveys or past rumors and stuff like that. And I'm not responsible if you guys get overhyped for this. Again, it's kind of some of it's me guessing, some of it's kind of up in the air i'm not entirely sure now keep in mind that covid can completely change this stuff if covid's still around and cinemas are there for still closed it's likely that a lot of the stuff that's tying into movies and tying into tv shows and such could potentially be get looked at uh, getting pushed back not so much the tv shows i think uh, more so the movie ones because obviously uh, tv shows disney plus you can still watch it from home so January. So this is tying into our Valentine's Day as well. Typically the patch will come out in that month. So it come out in January, but then it goes until February kind of thing. It's the same thing that happened last year with Cyclops. Now what I'm guessing and what the rumor has been is that both Gambit and Rogue will be Valentine's Day, tie into Valentine's Day. Therefore, I think that there'll be some more X-Men to come alongside them with Iceman and Kitty Pride. That'll pump us up to having about 11 X-Men, I believe it is, or maybe it's 12. Um, we'll be getting towards having a couple teams for them. I'd like to see how they kind of work in together and such like that. Then February, we've got Morbius. Now, I'm pretty sure that they'll probably release Morbius here. He has been rumored to come in December, so it's potential that he comes in December. Um, then alongside them, Medusa and Gorgon is what I'm suspecting that they'll be finishing off that Inhuman squad. Now, the Inhumans are starting to like uh, fall off just a tiny little bit, pumping in a couple more characters to kind of bring them up to speed, giving Yo-Yo and Quake an opportunity to move on to like a shield team or something like that is another uh, opportunity they've got there. Then in March, we've got the Loki movie. I'm suspecting this will be the uh, patch that they kind of make Loki into his own team. I'm suspecting it's going to be like a sorcerer team. So you've got like Enchantress and Brother Voodoo, who have both been rumored in the past for a little bit. There's also Valkyrie, who also has been rumored. Um, I'm suspecting that these characters will come along. Valkyrie likely goes to uh, going on to the Asgardians. Loki switches to on his own team, starting to work towards having like a um, the next legendary unlock. The next legendary likely coming in like April, April's patch of next year, which I'm suspecting will be uh, Odin. I'm suspecting that Odin requiring like the sorcerers. So um, Loki alongside whatever squad he ends up with um, would be really cool. And I'd really like to see that. Then you've got the tie-ins for the Black Widow movie. So you've got Red Guardian, Yelena and Ronin uh, is what I'm suspecting kind of comes along and then having like Black Widow and um, someone else potentially on that team, making up like a, a an agents kind of team uh, would be really cool. Then that's likely where we'll get ISO 2.0, where they've got like the next tier of ISO, whether that's blue ISO or whatever they end up deciding to do there, as well as some of the other changes they've kind of said that we're going to be coming down the track. Now in May, we've got two big movies coming there. You've got, uh, well, you've got one big movie for Venom, and then you've got the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Now I'm suspecting that they'll probably do Agent Venom alongside the Venom movie. That kind of makes sense. You could get like Gwen, uh, like a uh, Gwen Stacy's Venom. Um, potentially they have been putting her into some of the games, but I don't suspect we'll get her before we get the actual Agent, uh, actual Agent Venom. Uh, sorry, actual Gwen Stacy Venom. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Actual Gwen Stacy. <laughs> Ghost Spider, sorry about that. Um, then US Agent has also been rumored for a while, come alongside the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show. And then finally, you've got Mandarin kind of leading into having um, the Shang-Chi stuff. So he'd likely be the last character of that patch straight into Shang-Chi in June. I'm thinking that they'll probably do Heroes for Hire, coming, bringing in some North City characters and stuff like that. 
You've got Colleen Wing, you've got Misty Knight, and then you've got Shang-Chi coming alongside. Then you can have uh, like Night Nurse alongside that team. And then finally, like have the Mandarin as like a, a Punisher style character where he has synergy with like Shang-Chi or something like that and being on the team. In July, you've got the, usually they have like the Pride Month, the Pride team there. Young Avengers has two really strong characters that are both happen to be gay as well. You've got Wiccan and you've got Hulkling, both really key characters on the Young Avengers. And then if you've got um, those two, then you can bring Speed along as well, kind of fleshing out that Young Avengers roster, making it up to a full seven characters. And then some of them might be moved off into other teams. For example, the Web Warrior team, you can move Miles over there and then you've got plain old Spidey. Having Miles and Spidey already existing, bring along three new Web Warriors and boom, you can then make a legendary uh, Web Warrior with Spider-Man 2099. So Spider-Man 2099, Superior Spidey, Spider-Noir and uh, Ghost Spider. Those kind of four plus the other two that already exist, making a, a round team. Agent Venom also has the possibility of being put onto that team as well. He kind of can fit into that timeline where he's in May and then comes out in August. So then you'd have three existing characters. However, one would only just be made farmable plus two new ones. So it's really it's kind of like three new ones kind of thing. Well, four new ones. So having him being required for a team that just kind of came out would be really cool. I reckon Spider-Man 29 I'm kind of moving towards him being more the legendary. I think they can do more unique things with him. So I'd like to see him be uh, implemented that way. Then September, I think this is where we'll probably get our costumes. This will tie into the Hellstorm sorry hellstrom tv show that's already going there could potentially be a season two coming out by then not sure entirely and then obviously halloween i think we'll get peggy carter um peggy carter as uh captain america as her own separate character i'd really like to kind of see her be implemented that way i think it'd be really cool and then you've got uh satana and hellstrom as well Kind of bringing in the Halloween-y kind of stuff. Like, for example, um, how last year we had Ghost Rider. And this year we've got um, we've got the Symbiotes. Originally, apparently, it was meant to be Blade around this time. As well as the other supernatural characters. So, we'll see how that goes. And then in October, we'll be starting out with, like, the Eternal stuff. So, you've got Ajax, you've got Macri, and you've got Icarus starting out that kind of team, working towards the next patch where they can flesh out that team and add in the actual legendary to go alongside them, which I'm still fairly certain is Black Knight. We know the Black Knight's not the next legendary at the moment, but that doesn't mean that he's not the next legendary coming down the track. Then you've got Thena. Thena obviously ties in very well with uh, Black Knight. They likely have that kind of synergy, really high synergy characters between them. You've also got Spider-Man 3. At the moment, we don't know what's happening in Spider-Man 3. It's kind of really up in the air. We know Doctor Strange is in it. Uh, we know that uh, Electro, um, the Electro from uh, the Amazing Spider-Man movies, uh, Jamie Foxx is going to be in it. So I'm suspecting we'll probably flesh out our Sinister Six, bring them up to two full squads with Kraven and with the original classic Green Goblin. Both of those two are obviously very good characters for the Spider-Man universe. Um, the next patch is one that I'm not entirely sure about. December is kind of really far out. There's nothing that kind of really ties into it. I reckon Nova for Young Avengers can definitely be going there. You've got Cloak and Dagger as well and Beta Bill Ray. All of those characters can go onto existing teams. They can kind of flesh out those teams and bring them up to kind of the, the current standard. I think that my most hyped patch is definitely going to be this January one, obviously Gammon and Rogue. Um, some of them I'm less confident about, like for example, the March ones with the Loki tie-in. I'm not sure entirely what they'll go do there. Uh, while some other ones I am more confident about, for example, the uh, the October kind of ones where you've got like the Eternal starting out and stuff. Even November, I'm fairly confident about. But I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys think is going to be happening. Obviously, this is a bit far out. We've still got a couple months left, so kind of a little bit up in the air. But I'd love to hear what you guys think is going to happen in 2021. 
and what you would like to happen. There's, there's two different things, what you think is going to happen and what you would like to happen. But let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys had a great day and goodbye.